We're going to do a very quick walk through here for a three row watch job that's completed this spring uh, for a farmer making about 180 cows. So cows can move up into this area from the calf and shed or if you're bringing cows from the separation area or a freshly calf cow to come into this area um, from the treatment area out the back or the separation area out the back. They have access to the three robots up above from the existing cubicle shed on my left hand side. Office and compressor room, plant room is in on your right hand side so you have clean access in there and then you have access into the robot rooms. So you have your two central units in the robot rooms and uh, some of the milk buckets for the robots as well. Out the back we have a small cubicle separation area um, with access to a long crush and a span of head lock and barriers. The cows can move from this area down the flow channel and turn into the robots and they can be kept in this area. The slide door in front of us is for uh, chemical storage for T-tip and chemical for the central units for the robots. There will be a slip through point access into the first robot room, robot, ro robot one, robot two. When cows exit the robot, they go down a narrow race. There was robot three. Another, uh, I suppose, the addition that was done here is cows can be sent down the race and they can either be put through a footpath or just let out through the grazeway gates depending on the day of the week and what the farmer wants to do. Cows can also be drafted into ABC grazing through the grazeway gates but they can, they can additionally be sent out to the right hand side here and they can be sent to either a local paddock or they can turn back in here and go down into the cubicle separation area. They can get access into the first robot and they can be kept in this area. We also have, uh, I suppose, a nice treatment area, an area for storage and a turnover crate in place as well. So three robots fitted on this job, milking about 180 cows.